malicious or law, law reinforcement to say the least. Here the students are focusing more on law against men rape. They feel that there is no law that really accounts for men or the rape that happens against men or any sexual abuse that happens on men. So today we're going to be seeing all the plans that they're doing whilst we follow through everything and then later on we will ask their questions just to know more about this campaign that they are planning on doing. So follow through and watch us as we follow through the students today. Thank you for staying tuned. So I have here my beautiful classmates and uh, I just want to know their opinions on what they think about the topic. So I have here Michelle and Audi. So first of all, Michelle, what can you say about our campaign? Um, you know, for me, um, this campaign is very close to my heart because I have met quite a number of men who have been silenced by the society. You know, just in general, if anything happens to them, if men are harassed, the society looks at it as um, something that is, you know, unheard of, you know. So for me, just to be growing around people like that and having friends as well that tell me that, oh, you know, I've also been abused, you know, I'm a victim, but they don't really tell anyone. And, um, you know, when I came to Malaysia, I also realized that the law does not really say much about, you know, any harassment against men. And for me, I felt, um, you know, in terms of rape, rather, you know, rape against men or sexual abuse on men. And that's what, you know, also made me so interested in joining this campaign, knowing that this is for a good cause, you know. So I also feel like maybe my friend here, Audi Sarah, has more to say on that. You know, she can also help us understand further on her point of view when it comes to this. We are, we are dedicating this campaign uh, to make a world, this world, the society, a better and safer place. And we are doing this for everyone that's been feeling alone regarding this matter in hopes that uh, we we'll give out positive impacts to, in their life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Audi. And um, you know, like what you just said now, we, you know, um, the world is not just about women. Men also need recognition, and it starts here with us and fighting for the law reinforcement, for the law to see that there is a fracture, you know, in the way they do things. I don't know if you, Mr. Basitani, have more to say on this. Well, I think uh, 
the least said the better on this topic since you've already elaborated much more and Aldi has already I mean spoken a little bit of it. But I think uh, men also feel uh some way sympathetic at times. So I think these laws should be enacted so that at least men can also be comforted, men can be happy, men can freely move around and all that. So we are on a campaign to actually enact and instill that the law on rape against men shall have its rightful place in society. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Basitane. Um, I would just like to ask any of you in the crowd if you have any questions. Anyone? Um, so, you know, just because you joined us today, this campaign will keep going on. Today is just us realizing what we need to do and doing research on what we need to work on. So if any of you has anything to say or any of you has something to, you know, add on, I know here a reporter, Sherry, is sitting here in front of us. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I understand, I understand. It is a very controversial and oh oh okay. Um okay. Oh, Bashan no. Yes, now I understand why you are here as well. Mm -hmm. This is a very sensitive topic, if I do so say myself. Um, and I do hope that since we are all over here, we know what we're going to be fighting for. Stand up, everyone. Stand up and fight for your rights. Fight for your rights. Fight for your rights. We deserve a fair world. We deserve a better chance in this world. Fight for your rights. We are the people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bring your banner. <laughs> Yay! So, viewers, we are back yet, you know, um, here in this room where we've just seen this student stand up for the rights of men. We do understand their anxiety and we do understand how hungry, hungry they are as students. You saw them standing there and then the rest of them filling this room with so much enthusiasm just to show us how much this means to them. I'll just call upon two of them, two of the students that were up there to just give us more intel on how, what really drives them to say this. Here we have Audi Sarah who come and join us so that you hear more rightfully from them. Audi Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so here we are from ZBC News and we're just reporting this, you know, for the benefit of the society so that the society also understands why we are fighting. Would you kindly explain to us what drove you into wanting to start this campaign? For me, I just want to be a part of change. Even if it's a small change, I want to be a part of people that drives into change. And this is what we should be fighting for in these times. Like, um, this is such an underrated topic that deserves more recognition. So, this is what, that is why I'm here today. Thank you so much, Audi Sarah. Um, that does mean a lot, you know. Like Michael Jackson said, heal the world, make it a better place. And I feel like that's in addition to that. Again, we're going to be joined by Mr. Basin Tali, who is also part of this campaign. And he will also give us more intel on how he feels about this, what he thinks on this campaign, so that we as a people know how to also join these children and fight for the rights of men. Mr. Basin Tali, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as you already know, this is ABC News, and we are reporting live here from MSU Management and Science University in Shah Alam. So please, would you mind to elaborate furthermore on what you hope to achieve, you know, by this campaign and by gathering all these people in this room? Thank you very much, Ms. So, first of all, I'm glad to be a part of this campaign. And uh, our campaign seems to be a long rip against uh, men. And as Aldi said, we are here for, for change. Yeah, we are grateful to have this number of dignitaries in our midst today. So I feel the right people have heard it, so the right people should take action now. Thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Students, mere students coming to you asking for help, asking for the legislation to look further into how to help the world become a better place. 
Here we are in MSU Management and Science University, Shah Alam, reporting live by Michelle Shemi Moyakufa. This is how we end today. And I hope every one of you out there have watched and have known and to keep it close to your hearts that there are people out there wanting to change this world. And I hope you can also join them and hold hands and fight together as we all know that this is the change. The future is now. Thank you. Thank you for everyone.